Hey, jeez! Welcome back to my Revolutionary Girl Utena reactions. We are now at episode 12, I believe. Yeah, episode 12. And uh, last time, Utena lost a duel. And it was uh, quite, quite something because we got a little bit of a reveal. I don't know how much of a reveal it is or if it's just misdirection that uh, Amphi was just playing along as the Rose Bride. And because Utena was like, we're friends, you need more friends. She was like, yes, yes, because uh, she doesn't have a choice but to say yes. I get the feeling we're gonna touch on the fact that uh, she actually does want more friends and uh, uh, Kiryu is just... He's not entirely telling the truth. I don't know. Maybe he actually believes it, but it's not actually true. I don't know. Um, interesting episode with uh, callbacks to the, the, the prince on Utena's past and all that. But other than that, I think that's it. I'm kind of sleepy again. My uh, my headphones weren't working for a while. And I don't know why it suddenly works again, but I'm glad that it does. So, there's gonna be two versions of this reaction video. Excuse me. A picture picture version which you can find in the description below. And a timer based version which you are watching right now. If you want to sync up your OBJ to the timer based version, you can do that. But if I'm saying countdown, it's gonna count down from 5 because that's what they do. And it's 0 is the same frame. My video starts playing on my screen. Timer. I wait, 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 I need to write something down. Uh, 10, uh, 12. Okay, timer. Opening. Yeah. Uh, if you're watching this on a PAP, please check out the YouTube channel. It really help out if you can watch the discussions there or just watch the entire thing there. Because I do the PAP for you guys and all that. So. We do really help out, but um, thank you to the patrons since at the beginning and end for early access to weekly stuff that I do. Throw me a dollar or three in my face, it really helps out. You don't have to. The art isn't very good in the show, is it? It 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 looks pretty good when it matters, but I guess it's one of those shows again. What's the name? Ikuara. Is, is that the director's name? I forgot again. I literally just looked it up. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Penguin Jump also is kind of similar in a way that animation and art aren't really its best factors. Best things that it has. <sighs> but it's a really good story told in a really bizarre way and it's always interesting that way <laughs> okay let's see what's next well then I didn't hesitated well then I hesitated to actually attack Wow, really? Danger son. Is she not here? Who's that? Perhaps for friendship's sake. Okay. We're gonna get... I don't know. I don't, I don't know what this entails. <laughs> you know, this is actually a really good time to uh, reintroduce Wahaba and make her more important as a character. Don't feel like I lost my bride. Ugh. Sorry. <laughs> Goof off. Wow. Sort of. Ah. <sighs> oh. 
seeing him and yeah. Anthe. Oh, it was her saying goodbye, maybe? Even, even Choo Choo. Oh, I thought Choo Choo was carrying the big uh, luggage thingy. Yes! <laughs> I do that. <laughs> Oh yeah, because of the cut there. Oh, you still have a friend. Is she go going back? Yo, is she wearing girl's uniform? Yes, she is. Oh, Tenjo Senpai. Yeah, she does look cute. Um. Everyone's still swooning over her. It's normal. Uh, it hit her that much. What's Choo Choo doing? Also, is Choo Choo alive in, on campus? <laughs> oh, not Utenasama. And then passing each other. <sighs> What's he eating? I'm going to like Choo Choo a bit more. <laughs> Oh, it's a biscuit or a cookie. I don't know. It depends on where you are. Um, what is normal even? I want. I want it to be nicer to walk on that though. <laughs> oh, this bit again. Okay. Dun dun dun. Yes, we've seen this like a million times. I don't, I don't really mind it. It's okay. <laughs> I don't think that's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Same. I agree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's still eating that thing. What's up with that? What's up with Mickey? Stop! Hello! Ah, <laughs> oh, God. Do not conform, you Utena! Very manipulative, <laughs> this guy. It, I hate him. 
Why is no one, why is everyone ignoring what about it? <sighs> oh, wow, it's Andy. She didn't get slapped this time at least. Wow, was the voice of reason right now. <laughs> Okay, it's not Andy being slapped right now. Lutina, <sighs> Lutina, you're, you're unraveling. Um, <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, fight back! Actually, that's the best response you can give right now. <laughs> It's like... Yeah, I freaking love Wakaba right now. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't, but that doesn't matter. Oh, she runs away. Okay. Too much for her to handle right now. Okay. This is a good episode already. <laughs> I like this. Utina la filet revolutionaire! Nair! Revolutionaire? I don't know. La filet revolutionaire Utina. Pretty sure Utina is a very niche name. Like, not many people actually use that name, right? What are you talking to? Oh, those guys are falling. So, wow, this is, this is an old show. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a booty call. I don't know. <laughs> oh, she's still thinking of Udena. Utena. Okay. Danger Utena UT. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so there's this place where we duel with swords. <laughs> yeah. Not being normal is normal for you. I love that line. Man, I'm in the play. Do I get you?
Mm-hmm. Uh. It doesn't matter. Excuse me. Yeah. Kiss. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I was joking. Um. Oh. It kind of, kind of did it. Okay. Aww, forehead kiss. That's uh, reminiscent of the prince again. So, is she acting like, uh, like the prince right now? Ah, oh, wow. Wow. With, with the rose bright just behind you. <laughs> is this all part of the plan? Duel me! What are we gonna get here? Mm. Mm. And the UFO again. The one thing I can believe. Okay. Bro, a sword. Where'd you get the sword, actually? I. Oh, there we go. <laughs> They're actually helping her out. I want Miki to actually say say something as well. Mickey, add something to this. Mickey's best boy right now. Because there's not much competition. <laughs> also, Wakaba is best girl. Just, just gonna say this right now. Wakaba is best girl. <laughs> hey, just Nate. No, no, Just a bit. Sorry about that. I'm a bit of a cold. It's annoying as all hell. My favorite part about that is that she's not even ex exactly talking about taking back Anthe. She's talking about taking back herself, in a way. Sorry, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Ding ding ding. What? What? We're gonna... What are we gonna do to it? Power up! Now it's a lightsaber! <laughs> of course it's gonna be more powerful. It's a fucking lightsaber. Never mind. It's just, it, it has Christmas lights? Um... <laughs> What exactly does it do? Oh God! Oh no! That's uh. But the thing is, Utena used the power of Dios without the sword, so. How I so really? Ooh, nice. Ooh, nice. 
Again, we're saving a lot of budget here. Oh no, she's being stripped, of course. Oh, new song, okay. I'm gonna look into the song later. What do you mean? Uh. Mm. It's for you, Auntie. You know what this is? Whoa! Where, where did it go? It cut through the blade, wow. Oh, because she... Yeah, this is very similar to episode 1. The duel in episode 1 specifically. Oh yeah. The clothes battered and everything. <laughs> okay. What is the shoulder stuff? Uh, huge. Hey! Is it? Joe? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that, sorry, that looked kind of weird as a smile. Oh, you have a lot of those. I thought you were eating one and it just lasted for a day. <laughs> to be continued! Yay, that was a good episode. Uh, in truth and forever, kiss and love and chew your heart. For watching this other B.A.P. discussions back on YouTube. I don't know what to talk about yet. Actually, I do. <laughs> this is a good episode. I like this. Uh... Last few episodes weren't my favorite. This one is up there. I like this a lot. Um, Needed to remove something really dumb I said here. <laughs> like, uh, for example, I like, uh, for example, there was like a, a almost thirty minute discussion for episode ten, but half of that was me talking about incest. So. <laughs> <laughs> and just how incest can be incorporated into a story instead of the episode itself. So, <laughs> yeah, not my favorite episode, but uh, this, this is up there. My favorite episode is still episode 5, I think, with Mickey in it. Those, that one was great. Let's talk about this episode. Okay, uh, opening, opening. We actually start with what happened last time, and I like it. Um, I, my favorite part about this episode is the fact that Wakaba is a very important uh, character in this episode. So, <laughs> that's literally my favorite part. Um, Wakaba being a really good friend is... <sighs> Keep going through the flashes of that, okay. Um, freaking Kiryu's line of, you're still just a girl, is, is, I just hate that. 
Um, what what is that? What is this from? Like uh, all humans have a more masculine and more feminine side. I forgot the psychological term for that because you know I haven't been reading books for years. I've only been watching anime instead of reading. <laughs> so yeah, that's the thing that's happening. But uh, the idea that um, usually the women have a more feminine side because the women biologically I mean and the men has a more masculine side and I think that's what we're trying to get at is the fact that she still wants to be the princess she still does, wants to be uh, saved by her prince in a way so she actually makes it so that uh, she hesitates in, the, in actually taking down Kiryu which uh, because Kiryu manipulated her into thinking that she, he might be the prince but there's still the possibility that he is the prince but not only that but manipulated her into thinking a lot of things like uh, how fragile her ideology is and all that um, so yeah this is very well ployed well played well played well ployed it's a very well played plot and I mixed up play and plot <laughs> and um yeah, but other than that, <sighs> Utena being depressed is interesting. Um, I still have another uniform and it's a female uniform. I forgot where this is from, but uh, I believe it's also an anime where uh, there's a certain sense of femininity in this kind of state that she's in where she's downtrodden and uh how do i say this it's like i don't know i don't know i can't i can't anyways um wakaba still not getting anything is cute <laughs> and then she just goes oh it's a fight yeah it is kind of um this is normal that is a line uh that is very much, that is so, this is such an anno annoying line to me. I know that it, it makes perfect sense to just start thinking that, but it annoys me because what is normal? And uh, uh, isn't it one of the first comments I got? It's a gender conformity. Conformity. And uh, the idea that uh, Uchena just doesn't conform to gender roles. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My brain isn't working. <laughs> <laughs> not, it's working, but it's not fast enough. <laughs> um, that's another thing that uh, Kiryu manipulated Utena into thinking is uh, the whole thing concept of normal. <sighs> Wakabe being a huge part of this episode is my favorite thing because she's a really good friend. <laughs> like uh, Utena goes goes into these duels and she doesn't know anything about it but she still supports her so well it's so good everyone needs a friend like Wakabe um Wakaba? Wakabe? I forgot the name oh, what is this post supposed to be? I don't know um we haven't reached the last scene yet I like the jury actually uh, acknowledges that there's the possibility that Utena might want to take her back. Interesting. She's in the hotel and never speak to you again. She's kind of childish in the way that she uh, eggs on Utena, but it makes perfect sense and I quite like it. Especially the fact that Utena is acting very weird and she's acting in such a way that would be reminiscent of how she would act if Utena wasn't acting this way, right? Like, she's still treating her the same way that she would, even if she's not feeling depressed. So, I think that's one that's one thing that I really like about uh, just a, a friend that um, instead of treating you completely differently because of the state that you're in, you just kind of treat you the same way. I think that helps out quite a lot more. Um, I, I freaking hate Kiryu. <laughs> I think, okay, I don't know if this is, uh, but I think, I think I hate Kiryu more than I hate Seonji. <laughs> but Seonji is slight, 
I think the reason why I don't why I like Sayonji a bit more is that Sayonji is slightly better written, just slightly. <laughs> uh, it's kind of kind of dark. I need to do this. Ah, fuck. There we go. <laughs> Anyways, um, <laughs> yeah. Are we never gonna see Sayonji again? I want, I want to see him cameo at the near the end or something. Him and Mia just have, having no autonomy is so sad. But uh, it seems that in the, in a later scene where the Kiryu and yeah this scene, she actually imagines Utena being here. So she does have autonomy. She just thinks that this is a priority that she needs to uh, prioritize role that she needs to take part in. So yeah, uh, Utena slapping frigging Wahaba is kind of kind of neat because Utena is not herself. And uh, you know what's even more interesting? Anthony didn't get slapped this episode. Is that the first time? <laughs> no, it's probably not. But uh. Someone gets slapped all the time in every single episode. <laughs> um, I like this. That uh, the scree the, let's just scream at each other until we find a way to make up and and return to normal, to our normal. Is a uh, I think it's a line in Spice and Wolf that I recently watched. Where it's like, we should just scream at each other until we get we understand each other better. <laughs> and uh, I think this is similar to that, where, uh, I, where one of my favorite things that Wahaba actually said this episode is, you don't, you should not apologize and then make it everything okay. That's not how this works. We need to work this through. And that makes perfect sense because if you just apologize and just let it sl slide, it's not really growth. You're not moving past that. You're just... You're just ignoring it. <laughs> so, yeah, I think my brain's starting to work faster now. I'm starting to speak faster. <laughs> I need more coffee! Only had one cup. I'm sorry I slapped you. Hmm. Okay. Auntie and all that, okay. This isn't normal for me. <sighs> I love it. Everyone has their own sense of normalcy, and I quite like the diversity that we have as human beings because of it. It's interesting. Um, anything else? Uh, are my lights okay? I think they're too dark. Probably okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to take back who I was. That is such an interesting line because, as I said, it's not just that she's taking back Anthe because she thinks that Anthony is better off with her, but she's also t doing this for herself. She's doing the piece that has been lost from her. She's taking back the piece that has been lost from her. That it has, uh, that is where, uh, fuck my brain. I, I just said my brain was working faster and then suddenly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Anthony gave her this part of her and then it's gone. And now, she needs to take it back and I quite like the idea that she's doing this for herself more so than she's doing this for Anthe and it's really good it's just really good it's, it's again growth as a, as a character and it's great because the show seems to revolve a lot around adolescence and growing up from it and one of the biggest things about growing up and growing up in adolescence is that during adolescence you get pretty much uh, influenced quite easily and it's kind of similar to how Utena was influenced easily by Kiryu uh, or how she was influenced by the prince saving her when she was young but it's growing past that that is that is what is considered to be growing out of um, adolescence and going into adulthood and making yourself into your own person and that's kind of the thing that I kept talking about how Kiryu could be the prince and now she has to move past the idea that the, of the prince, the ideal of the prince, not idea with an with an L. You need to have an L. So yeah, instead of yeah 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 yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about that. I think this is the first episode that talks about conformity qu quite heavily as much as this is. Like the gossipers, the these the shadows actually talk about that quite a bit already, and. Uh, 
It's a very important part of the show. It's a very important theme. So, yeah, maybe, maybe. What does it say? Having normal family, living a normal life, but being normal has nothing to do with us. We're tired of do of doing all of the all things we've done till now. Okay, interesting. Yeah, nonconformity. Okay. I did we not get the tin 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 Yeah, we didn't. We didn't get the whole uh, walking up the stairs sequence. <laughs> So the sword becomes enchanted, I guess, and uh, your swings become strong enough to create wind pressure that can destroy stone. <laughs> um, quite like that, I guess. Uh, I think it's uh, the concept of magic here is similar to the concept of magic in Penguin Drum, because as I said, that's the other show that by this guy that I know of and that I watch on the channel. But uh, the thing about about that that I really like is that the magic system doesn't really make sense. It doesn't and it's not supposed to. And the only reason the magic is there is for us to, uh, is for the show to express its, its message a lot better. And the message here is somewhere along the lines of, I don't know, Utena taking the power of Dios for herself. The power of Dios choosing Utena. So, yeah, I don't think we're supposed to understand how this works and all that. I like the little bits of, uh, what's the word for it? Like a doubt that Himimiya has, where she's like, oh, she's never gonna win this, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I think this is the first time we've ever done this, where uh, we actually destroyed clothing <laughs> during the battle. <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you, um, when I know, when I learned that uh, we're gonna have a lot of girls fight each other with swords, I honestly thought that the very first one and a lot coming after it are going to have tattered clothes. Nope, this is the first one we got. <laughs> so I'm, I'm actually gonna say kudos to the creators for not overdoing it. Um, speaking of sexualizing teenagers, um, I think one of the reasons why I hate Kiryu is the fact that Kiryu is such a fuckboy. <laughs> like, uh, like, do your thing if you want to be active sexually, I don't really give a shit. But, uh... I don't know. The fact that he considers himself a prince and then does these things is, is what pisses me off. It's the, just the hypocrisy of it. <laughs> it just pisses me off. <laughs> uh, probably my unpopular teenage ass back then probably hated this a lot more than I do now because I'm okay with this kind of stuff now. <laughs> um, we get a similar cross bet between the two of them, similar to episode 1 and I think episode 2 as well, not entirely sure, but uh, with the broken sword in episode 1 and then still winning. Uh, there was a flash where Himemiya realizes that, oh wait, this is this power, blah blah blah. Everything else, all I want to go through the lyrics. Oh, dance in the ancient continent's theaters. That, okay. For force where the mass of time. Okay, ancient, ancient continent makes me think of uh, uh, culture. Like the idea that you, we are to conform to culture. The performances were the mass of time. I don't fully get that one. So uh, people, people don't show themselves truly because they want to be normal, maybe. Oh, dance your dreams, your dreams. Three of the seven wonders of the world. Oh okay, yeah, that seems like an arbitrary number. I don't know. Carried here on the Galactic Railroad. Isn't Galactic Railroad the thing that was inspired with the uh, from Penguin Drum as well? The the the, the, the it's, it's like a children's book. I don't know if that's it. Okay. Like a star, like a firefly. Okay, so shining brightly. 
a flash and it's born, a flash and it's fade, okay? So, fleeting moments of life. I don't know if it's referring to anything. Maybe the uh, experiences that we have as youth is what we're talking about, okay? Born and then gone, just like all, just like us all. Okay, that makes sense. Um, flash and born, nice. Born and gone, okay, so we just repeat that bit. Um, I like that Putin actually went and said, no need for the formality. We're, we're roomies, roomies. And we're gonna stay roomies forever because I'm a great swordswoman. <laughs> it's by that, I mean I have the power of God and anime on my side. Uh, how, do, how did the boy do that pose there? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think that's it. I don't know. This is, this is a good episode, but um, probably one of my favorites uh, as of late. I don't know what else. <laughs> so, let me see my notes. So, yeah, I think we're done. I think we're done. So, if you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion a week earlier than everyone else, you can do that link below. It really helps out. You don't have to, but if you can, please do. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, all that fun stuff. And, bye.